The debate on illegal immigration, in fact, will take center stage in the coming days in India. Tomorrow, the government will announce the final list of Assam citizens, the NRC, National Register of Citizens. You could call this the final copy of the NRC. This announcement will determine the fate of illegal immigrants in Assam. It will also set a template to weed out illegal immigrants across the country. So far, India has lacked any framework to curb illegal immigration, and its impact on the country has been immense. Take a look at this report. The 31st of August is a major day for Assam. The final National Citizens Register for the state will be published. The release of the final list will end a major exercise that lasted for more than a year. The first draft of the NRC excluded 41 lakh people. Since then, authorities have been working tirelessly to detect illegal immigration. Illegal migrants, especially from Bangladesh, have been a major issue for Assam. The state witnessed a major movement against it in the 1980s. Back then, the All Assam Students Movement led a campaign against illegal migrants. Assam witnessed major protests, including violence. The movement lasted six years. As many as 860 people were killed. The situation only got worse from there. In the midst of the Assam agitation, Prime Minister Indira Gandhi gave 4 million Bangladeshi immigrants the right to vote. State elections were announced in 1983. Around the same time, Assam witnessed its bloodiest and deadliest genocide. More than 2,000 people were killed in Nelly. Unofficial numbers say many more people died. Two years later, the Assam Accord was signed. India built a fence between Bangladesh and India. But illegal immigration still remained an issue. After the 1991 census, major changes were witnessed in the demographic patterns of the border districts. In 1998, the government led by the BJP ordered the construction of the Indo-Bangladesh barrier. There were several reports of growing influx of migrants and illegal trade. The Indian government also planned to extend the border barrier in Assam to encircle West Bengal, Tripura and Mizoram. Up until recently, India lacked a framework to deal with illegal migration. But the present BJP government has taken a tough stance against it. It has taken strict measures to curb illegal immigration. The focus has been on illegal immigrants from Bangladesh and Myanmar. In its first term, the government announced that it will send back 40,000 Rohingyas that entered Indian territory. The National Citizens Register in Assam is the second major step. But many experts claim that the NRC alone cannot be a permanent fix. Bangladesh has refused to recognize any infiltration from its end. The porous border between India and Bangladesh still remains a concern. However, despite the concerns, the Indian government still remains bullish on the NRC. In fact, the BJP in its manifesto had announced plans to implement it across India. Saturday won't be an end to the NRC story in Assam. Those people who are left out of the register have an option to appeal to the Foreigners' Tribunal. The government will set up 1,000 tribunals in phases to hear disputed cases. Bureau report, we on World is One.